Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Scott comes in with a different type of question that doesn't get asked very often, but maybe should. It is, I want to know what Windows Power Plan you recommend for high-end gaming, so an i9 10850K stock, an RTX 3080, uh, let's see, an Aorus Z490 motherboard, 32 gigs of 3200, and a... That's a it? very nice computer. Yeah, it is. So power plan questions are something that we probably don't talk about enough, and I'm willing to bet that a lot of people don't. Uh, to be honest, I don't think about them very often, and to a large extent, they probably don't matter all that much. However, I'm going to pull this up full screen so you guys can see it. This is the power and sleep page in Windows 10. You can see we can control our screen on battery power or when plugged in, and we can tell the computer when it goes to sleep uh, on battery power and when plugged in. There is another option over here on the right that says related settings, additional power settings. Bright screen warning, because when you click on it, it opens up a the old control panel rather than the new one. And you can see here, we are currently on balanced. Now this is a laptop, and so it's not gonna show the same settings that you might find on a desktop. Typically what you're going to find here is you're going to find a power saving, mm -hmm. balanced, and high performance. And depending upon which one that, whether you're a laptop or desktop, you may have uh, different options there. If you have an AMD desktop and you have the AMD drivers installed, which you should, in fact, they now have the automatic driver uh, search engine do both chipset and video card drivers. So totally use the, uh, the automatic system. It works very, very well. I've switched to using that. Then you also get an AMD Ryzen balanced option in the list. Ooh. On my AMD systems, I use the AMD power plan. On my Intel systems, most of them are on the balanced power plan, which is the default. Okay. On my i9-9900K at home, I'm on the high performance plan. The high performance plan allows more frequent power switching. It allows it to, to jump up to high frequencies more often okay. and delays the drop down and makes the system a bit more snappy and a bit more responsive. It changes the rate of clock speed change and how quickly Windows scales the clock speed down cool. and how long it leaves the turbo up. It does use a little bit more power. It is a little bit less efficient and it makes a bit more heat. But if you have a premium super top end system, which Scott does, he's got a 10850K and a and an RTX 3080, exactly. the high performance plan is totally which one I would be on. For most people, it does not make a big difference. I, It's totally safe to try. Give it a try. If you're watching this, go into the power setting, click on the advanced, check it, switch to high performance. Try playing a game, yeah. try switching windows, browse with your web browser, switch it to balanced, switch it to power savings. You might find the difference is small. But some people might notice a difference depending on how much they multitask. True. What processor do they have? On his high-end processor, it's going to matter less. If you've got an older FX6300 CPU, maybe it'll make a bigger difference. You know, Windows behaves differently on different generations, different platforms. It's one of those things that's there that might matter, but probably doesn't to most people. But how, worth trying. How much you want to bet at least 50% of our audience didn't even know there was a power plan in Windows? Yeah. Well, Real Avis just says, just found out I'm running an AMD Ryzen Balanced. He must have the AMD chipset drivers he, installed. He must do. So, yeah, go check that out. Yeah. Hopefully that's helpful to some of you guys. Uh, leave a comment down below as to what you're in or it, have you found a difference? I would be interested in seeing some feedback comments from people who have tried changing it. Now, placebo effect and finding changes because you're looking for changes can happen. I changed it and uh, yeah, it's faster because I wanted it to be faster. That's the thing. But if any of you genuinely feel like there's a real difference, then let me know. And if you've changed it between power saving balanced and high performance and you go, I can't tell a difference, let me know that too. 
URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.